So in my previous video, I had taken this battery jump starter for cars and put it under a load and saw that the voltage was dropping down to about 9.5 volts at 78 amps and that was using this original harness that they had sent. What I did is I put together a harness. I don't have the clamps on it yet but I wanted to see if it was going to improve the voltage drop at the same load. So I'm just going to do a real quick test here. I'm going to do the same thing I did before to make sure that I get repeatable results. With the original harness. And the same load tester we can see my voltage jumped up to 12.4. Set my min-max setting on there. And we're down to 9.6 at 76 amps. Then we're going to take and put in the new harness that I'm working on putting together. And we can see we've taken a little bit of power out of the bank, so it might be a little bit off on the results. But when we we are at 11 volts and dropping 10, 8, 10, 7, 83 amps, we're well over a volt higher on our actual leads coming out that would feed the battery. So there's a lot better chance that you would actually get a car to start by using this harness. Now I don't have the clamps on yet, I'm waiting for them in the mail. Once I get them, I'll put them on and do the same test. And what I did to get this improvement in voltage drop is this is 6 gauge wire and this is 10 gauge wire on the original clamp. The 6 gauge wire will have a lot less voltage drop and the other thing that I'm doing is I'm making this as short as possible. I just need it to reach across the battery and connect on the positive and negative terminals and the shorter the run of wire where you have this extra wire will also cause the performance to drop. I don't have any protection circuit like they have in here, so I do have to be very careful and I would caution anyone from doing the same thing if you're not real careful because when you connect it to the car and the battery voltage is low, it won't be an issue because power is going to be coming out of this and going into the car battery. As soon as the engine starts, the voltage is going to jump up to over 14 volts and it's going to cause an immediate over condition, over voltage condition on the battery. So as soon as you cut, start the car you basically have to get the clamps off right away so that you make sure not to damage this. And anytime you start playing with removing safeties, uh, be aware of what you're doing and if it could cause potential problems, uh, if you do it, you take responsibility for it. I'm not concerned about it because I would rather have it risk damaging the battery in here than not be able to start a car if I need it to. So I just thought I would show that by going up in wire size and I ended up getting the fittings for like two dollars. I got ten of them which was good because it took me a couple of shots to get it soldered on there correctly. Hopefully you found this interesting and thanks for watching.